Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last week or so, as I have been posting, Microsoft's new Bing with ChatGPT is now rolling out to select users. And um, since it has started rolling out, Microsoft over the last couple of days has made an interesting announcement over on Microsoft Bing Blogs, which I thought um, I would just share for you uh, in the video, um, in this video, as um, if you are using ChatGPT, uh, you may find this useful. Now, Microsoft says they want to share a quick update on one notable change. And this notable change uh, is that apparently, according to user feedback, uh, very long chat sessions can confuse the underlying chat model in the new Bing. And to address these issues, they have now implemented some changes to help focus the chat sessions. And these changes are now that the chat experience, according to Microsoft, will be kept at 50 chat turns per day and five chat turns per session. And a turn is a conversation exchange which contains both a user question and a reply from Bing. So just take note of that. If you are one of these select users who have now access, uh, got access to the chat GPT with the new Bing. Now, and the whole reason for doing this, uh, Microsoft says that according to feedback, uh, the vast majority of users found the answers they are looking for within five turns, and that only approximately 1% of chat conversations have 50 plus messages. So that's the whole reason why Microsoft now is capping uh, the uh, experience now with 50 chat turns per day and five chat turns per session. Now, Microsoft does continue to say in this announcement that after a chat session hits five turns, you will now be prompted to start a new topic. And at the end of each chat session, context needs to be cleared so the model won't get confused. And to do this, you just click on the broom icon to the left of the search uh, for a fresh start and obviously to start a new topic. And at this stage, uh, that uh, this is what Microsoft is implementing, basically putting a cap on those turns, as they are calling it. But they do say that they, as they do continue to get uh, feedback, uh, they will explore expanding the caps on chat sessions, uh, basically to further enhance the search and discovery experience. So um, at th this is how it currently is at this stage. But in the future, Microsoft can and could be expanding those uh, chat turns, as they are calling it. Now, something else uh, just to take note of regarding um, the new chat GPT, and I actually didn't think this would take very long, but according to reports now, um, Microsoft is discussing plans to monetize the new Bing with the chat GPT integration. And um, as I have posted previously, Microsoft has spent a lot of so-called top dollar and a couple of billion um, regarding the AR and the artificial intelligence. So obviously now Microsoft want to get their money back when it comes to all the, the money they have forked out for this new experience. And there are reports now that Microsoft has already met with a major ad agency and has shown them basically what the new Bing uh, search and the uh, chat GPT with the chat GPT integration is all about. And because of this now, um, and Microsoft has shared their plans uh, to allow paid links in responses uh, with the chat GPT in the future. So basically this means that uh, there are possibilities for the new Bing uh, to be monetized in the future according to this report. And there isn't too much other than that at this stage, but if anything does change regarding any monetization and or ads coming to the new chat GPT, um, I'll obviously post and let you know accordingly. And uh, just something on a side note, um, I did post a video um, late last week that if you are not seeing the new Bing with ChatGPT, there are a couple of reasons which Microsoft has uh, indicated why you may not see it at this stage. And I'll leave a link to that video in, this, in the description just to give you a little, a little bit more info uh, if you are not seeing the new Bing with ChatGPT. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.